What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today I have a quick Lego custom. Today I have Curious George from the 2006 movie Curious George and the TV show and um, of course I've seen the movie and the TV show um, and once again he, uh, I'm going to say this a lot in this video, Curious George is honestly, even though he's for kids and has been for kids, um, he is still one of my personal favorite cartoons. It's so heartwarming and it's just like one of my favorite movies to watch and just sit down and watch. And um, yeah, of course, um, the best part is the sculpted head, um, which this is the best Curious George that you're going to get out there. Um, really, there isn't a better Curious George. Um, so starting off with his accessory, um, there's a banana. And, uh, of course, the man with the yellow hat. I guess this is the yellow hat. <laughs> you guys know that. Um, but, anyway, um, the head is sculpted by me. Um, I love the shape that I got. This is honestly one of my perfect sculpted heads. Because it's, it's not too round. It looks like Curious George. I love it a lot. And um, I'm going to break down the head later. Um, the color of this figure um, is the reddish brown. The skin color. Um, used on Nick Fury and stuff. And um, this color is known to break, which is really hard to make customs like this. And I was going to go with dark red. It's just, it's a really hard figure to make. And um, of course, this figure might crack easily. Anyway, the torso is reddish brown and uh, no tail because Curious George wasn't made with a tail. Um, but the feet are painted flesh colored feet, which is, if you guys are wondering what paints I used, I used this sun kissed peach. It looks extremely well for it works extremely well for uh, skin colors and um, it's what I use for the ears mouth and legs and um, so yeah there's the legs and now we're gonna talk to the um, now we're going to take a look at this awesome head uh, so this head um, of course is sculpted by me I'm removing it um, as you guys can see this is just the perfect curious George head I nailed it I think um, it was pretty easy to make um, if you're uh, customizer like me. Um, I basically just got a shape of it and then did a little cylinder out the front because his mouth kind of goes out. Um, I'm not happy with the expression but I think it works and uh, the tan ears I think work really well and um, I took the head and the hairs were really hard to nail. Uh, since he's a 2D animation um, usually his hairs are on the side or the front so I had to look at some 3D animations and stuff like that and um, of course I think I did a pretty good job and yeah that is Curious George he's pretty simple um, very happy on how he turned out and um, yeah just pretty cool um, I don't think Lego's ever going to make a Curious George figure ever because um, it's owned by I think Universal or Paramount I don't know but I don't think they're ever going to make him because I don't know what Lego say you would make him based on um, but anyway, that is Curious George, and uh, talking about um, Curious George in general, um, of course, as you guys know, um, Curious George was, you guys probably don't know, Curious George was one of the first things that I ever saw that, and I think Spectacular Spider-Man when I was really young. Those are the things that um, I hear about and stuff, and um, I love Curious George, the music and everything, it just, it's so good. And um, it sucks I didn't do well at the box office. I think it only got 70 million, um, which it sucks because this is honestly just a perfect movie. It's it's so good, and I love how the figure turned out. And um, I'm happy to have him now in my collection. I've always kind of wanted a Curious George because he's just he's just so cool. And uh, it was really hard to paint that face, um, but I think I t it turned out pretty good. Um, blown away of how good this figure turned out and thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys later peace out and